What is up, everybody? Thralls of Metal here. I'm Jam and John. I'm the Croc Neck. And we are bringing you, surprise, surprise, another album review. Imagine that. Uh, one that was definitely on Nick and I's radar since we figured out it was coming out. The new one from Blood Red Throne, Imperial Congregation. This comes out on the 8th of October on Nuclear Blast Records. Again, the gauntlet of a month that we're about to go through. Once again, loaded with cool stuff. This band formed in Norway in 1998. This is their 10th full length. Now this band was initially started by guitarists Dodd and Short. I'm not entirely sure I'm saying either one of those right, <laughs> but Short had actually been a live member of Satyricon for a while and he and Dodd wanted to do a death metal project and they've been keeping this thing running for years. And honestly, I'd say this might be Norway's most well-known death metal act. I mean, I'm yep. sure there's others in there, but this is the one that always comes to mind because Norway is not exactly known for its death metal output. Not saying there aren't cool Norwegian death metal bands. But that's not typically the You thing. got a lot of black metal bands. But this band has pretty much latched on to that old school Floridian sound, mixing in with a little bit of like more European death metal and have been just rolling. And this new album, I was eagerly awaiting. And honestly, I kind of knew what I was gonna get just because these guys have a formula, but it's a tight formula and it works. Opening track, the title track, delivers exactly what you expect from Blood yeah. Red Throne. Syncopated chugs, riff city, and God, groove left and right. This is one of the most thoroughly headbangable albums yes. I've listened to this year, and I've listened to a lot of shit, but yep. Yep. you were perpetually caught in a groove. Yeah, it didn't stop. The 45 minutes, almost 46 minutes worth of music, and it was just straight headbanging. Yeah. I mean, and it doesn't seem to matter like which direction they go. Like they could slow it down half time, they could do a blast. There's always a groove to catch on to, and of course, riffs. This is one of the most riff-driven bands, yes. I would say, in death metal. Like you know, right there with all the bands that they emulate, like Cannibal Corpse, Deicide, Suffocation. They right. just love the riff. And I like that it's not that it is guitar-driven, and it's not so much drum driven like he he blasts a little bit but for the most part it's pretty like straightforward i'd almost call it like chris adler groove yeah and i like that yeah i think the blast beats are kind of used to accent certain parts like if they need a little ramp up and energy like the song consumed illusion probably breaks into one of the faster blast beats on here but most of the time it's kind of that cannibal corpse style blast yeah. beat where there's a yeah. solid groove behind it definitely going into the verse like the second half of the intro riff oh. into the verse is is definitely Cannibal Corpse. The tremolo riffs yep. kind of are in there, mostly kind of pocketed again. Like the main thing is the chuggy riffs. They love to do triplet chugs left and right. There's a little bit of that sort of thrashy death metal oh, yeah, sound, definitely. like Vader. But when they lay on a tremolo, it's a fiercely kind of deep tremolo. It's dark sound. Yeah, it's very lower registered. It's not typically the high tremolo you get in, say, like black metal or even yeah. some death metal. Very low register, just adds kind of a growl behind everything. Now, most of this has like kind of a standard double time in your face sort of just groove to it. Like it's just instantly headbangable, but they do slow it down occasionally. Transparent existence. Conquering Malevolence and We All Bleed have some really killer, just slow kind of halftime grooves where they just kind of take these nasty, chuggy riffs that are all over this album. <laughs> they are just thrown all over. If there's no chug it's on a song, be one of the most violent yeah. shows ever, dude. If if you found <laughs> a song without a chuggy riff on this album, you're listening to the wrong album. Just go ahead and check your record player, CD player, Spotify, whatever the hell you're listening to it on. It's the wrong album. This album loves to chug, but when they slow it down and kind of give it those halftime grooves, it just sort of delivers a little bit of extra punch because this kind of has like a uniform sort of speed to it. So it's nice to get those slower breaks so your neck can slightly recover because you're going to be headbanging. And speaking of headbanging, as if you don't do it enough on this record, the track six, seven. <laughs> yeah. The transitions and the opener groove are neat. The full time to the like the full time boogie to a half time chug. Actually, I got reminded of early Lamb of God, like as the palaces burn era. Yeah. And then you get the Gojira chug with the little like pick yep. string thingy. Lots of decapitated. I mean, decapitated knows how to chug too. That's another band that's kind of built around that. Blood Red yeah. Throne, right yeah. there. It does get a little slower. I did not see the lead coming. 
Like it like really slows down and goes into this melodic thing and then the lead kicks in. I think it's the only time it slows down on the album. Uh, very rarely does it. The leads though, I gotta bring up, are really cool. Like they're not super technical, but they're doing more than just like the standard dive bombs and squeals and stuff. Like there's some real cool nuance and they're kind of like clever and fun. And I wanna say like he does a lot of different stuff from mm -hmm. song to song. And those generally supply a lot of the melody because most of this is just about empowerment. This wants you to think that you can punch down a wall. You might be able to do that. I don't know you personally. I wouldn't recommend it. it sounds like it hurt. But this album might con you into it because it is just sort of ramping up that aggression. Yeah. And the cool thing about this album and kind of Blood Red Throne albums in general is momentum. The thing that they do is kind of in a small box. It is a lot of chug, it is a lot of groove, a lot of Floridian death metal worship, but while it is sort of repetitive and a little bit derivative, it's so fun to listen to mm -hmm. because it just keeps sort of building momentum. Like it plateaus at a really cool spot, yep. but honestly the best comparison is a boulder rolling down a large mountain into Eight or nine villages, just <laughs> crushing them. Oh, look, that one got the orphanage. <laughs> yeah. this, this village was full of kittens. Uh -oh. Yep, no, it's all gone. <laughs> because Blood Red Throne don't stop. And that, that's sort of the thing, like, again, while it's predictable, it's a fun predictable. And it's done so well. Mm -hmm. The transitions are buttery smooth. Like, there's no lost energy nope. really at mm -hmm. any point in any And sometimes, songs. sometimes when they transition, they come in on the offbeat, which is cool. Other times they they do a, a like a stop on a dime transition where it just changes time signatures. And yeah. the way the way that they are able to instantaneously do that is really cool. Yeah, and I I kind of like that streamlined sort of style. Like you don't want to lose mm -mm. anything there, and they just keep it going. And like I said, you know, again, it it's kind of predictable. It's kind of in a box. But it's a fun fucking yeah, box. It's a, it's a great box. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like a small club show and everyone's moshing, even though you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're getting your ass blown. I've been there, dude. Yeah, Ooh. I know. I saw you got blindsided at a couple of shows. It sucks. It does. <laughs> this this is that good. album. Now, we brought up the box, the fun, violent box that they are stuck in. But there are two tracks on this record that are unlike pretty much anything else on this album and are focused in very different directions. The song Inferior Elegance almost immediately reminds me of old Meshuggah. Destroy, erase, yep. improve. Yep. The riff itself is off time while the drums are straightforward. Yeah. And it just makes for a really kind of fun groove. Also, I must note, I think your bass player wants a raise. Dude. The bass work in this album overall is tits on a bore. Yeah, and the mix really allows it to cut through. Granted, mm -hmm. it's a little dry and compressed. I mean, that's yeah, kind of the style in terms of like recording this because it's chug a minute, so you kind of want that to be clear. But with that bass cutting through and you hear him just kind of taking bass lines for a walk, like yeah. he's supplying a lot of really cool melodies on mm -hmm. here too. Mm -hmm. And we noticed this on pretty much every single track. There's yes. always a moment where he kind of just takes a bridge for a walk a little bit. He's doing more than just root note stuff. And honestly, on the last track, Zarathustra, I think he thinks he's playing in Cynic because yeah. those almost jazz fusion-y bass Towards lines, the end, yeah. Not out of place, but so damn different from what is usually going on in this album. But Zarathustra is a little bit different. It is. It is more melody drift. While the, the ball puncher riffs are still there, this focuses more on a song. Actually, the hook in this song is very, very catchy. Yeah. Uh, I was humming it on the way down the stairs to do this review, so. Honestly, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Carcass. Like, yeah. that sort of mellow death. Like, it's yeah. still very riffy and very aggressive, but, you know, a little bit of that heart work like energy on it. Overall, holy shit, this was fun to listen to. Like, I don't know, like, they're, they're, again, there's not much to it. It is a very meat and potatoes, but. The meat is just fucking gnarled. Looks like it's already been chewed on. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> and the potatoes might actually just be rocks, but you're still forced to eat them. I loved 
pretty much every second of this. Mm -hmm. And again, it's kind of a small wheelhouse, but god damn, they do it so well. It's such a, it, to me, I find it actually kind of refreshing with yeah. all the stuff, you know, we, we review a lot of crazy technical stuff and a lot of really just deep, nasty, doomy, Ugh. and this is kind of a, just like, okay, cool. Fun, okay, high energy. Cool. Yeah. Man. So overall, I'm going to give this four stars. Honestly, this is one of those albums where if someone asked me, hey, what's death metal like? I would play them this album because this kind of covers a lot of different mm -hmm. bases. Mm -hmm. I love riffs, and holy shit, this album has all the riffs. Like, they're hogging a lot of great <laughs> death metal riffs. Simple, but straightforward, and goddamn the aggression on this. Ooh. It never stops. It never stops. lets up. No. But it never gets boring. No. So that is like the main thing. Like, you know, there are a lot of bands out there that, you know, they kind of do the same thing, but it eventually kind of wears thin. I didn't really get that mm -mm. on here. Like, it just kept the energy up, and that is a very important thing. This is a awesome fucking album. I love their last one, too. Yeah. I think this one might be just a touch better. I don't know. I might have to go back and compare the two, which just means I get to sit back and listen to more Blood Red Throne. <laughs> Poor fucking me. Oh. This is awesome. If you're a fan of the band, you probably already know what this sounds like, and you should get it because it is very welcome in your collection of Blood Red Throne stuff. Go out, get it. It's fucking fun. Just sort of mosh pit in your house. <laughs> you're gonna. We almost did. I'm also gonna give it a four. I agree with everything Nick said. This was such a good time to listen to. Uh, I'm gonna need to invest in a neck brace, I think, if I'm gonna listen to this album anymore. And I will, because, you know, much like Nick said, it's just straightforward death metal, and it's it, the energy is crazy, and the vibe on the whole record is nice, and it's a good mixture between sour lemons and just kind of rocking out and it doesn't let up and while it is really straightforward it's a good straightforward and like nick said if you love the band you already know what you're hearing and if you aren't familiar whew, what a good place to start i will definitely be jamming this more i will definitely be looking forward to a tour maybe sometime maybe maybe maybe, maybe next year i don't know this maybe year's still year. kind of spotty but right? <laughs> get here man i'll fucking go buy a whole bunch of your shit yep, yep. Well, except for this album because i already bought it right <laughs> Buy it again. Give it away. Not a terrible idea. No. So, if you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe because we do stuff like this all, all the, the time. time. We are also on Patreon if you would like to support us there. There will be a link down below as well as a link to our 7,500 subscriber giveaway. We are less than 80 people away oh from that. God. It's crazy. <laughs> I finally get to stop saying this, too. But I do get to say the part I do love. Thank you guys so much for getting Thank us you this part. Much. It's awesome. We, we absolutely yeah. love it. I'm glad you guys are digging the content, and we've got plenty of shit coming. But in this giveaway, in case you are unfamiliar with it, is the new Cannibal Corpse as well as seven other CDs. So definitely get in on that one. All you have to do is click the link below, make a comment on that video, and you are entered. We also have t-shirts available. Uh, we still need to reload on sizes, but we still have extra larges, larges, some double X's, maybe a small. Eventually maybe. I'll get a stop saying that too, and I'll just say <laughs> we have all sizes, but we gotta get to that point. But if you would like one, Hit us up on thrallsofmetal at gmail.com, send us a message, put shirts in it, and we will get back to you and hopefully sell you a shirt. So with that, we thank you very much for watching, and we will catch you later.